Hello, welcome back to my channel. Um, it's been a while since I had a chatty, relaxed kind of video, so I thought today we'd do a little chat, get ready with me, mostly to update you on getting my coil removed and how that was. Have a nice cup of coffee with me here, but it's not that warm anymore. It's warm, but it's not hot, you get me? And I like hot, I don't like warm. Same with tea, I hate tea unless it's like hot and fresh. I'm like, oh, I'm so annoying. This mug I can't heat because this gold stuff like melts off. So I swear anytime I make a cup of tea or coffee in this mug, I like really want to heat it in the microwave and I can't. It happens every single time. I swear just because I can't. <laughs> so yeah, I'm just getting this into me and just having a little. Just have one left. I had the other one yesterday. I'm very good, very disciplined. <laughs> I only had one of two. Um, so yeah, oh my god, my camera's flashing. Why me? No, 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 no. So while my camera's charging up, I thought I'd just show you on my phone. Um, I'm doing my hair and I just put these on and they're sliding down my face. And I can never remember which way to wear them either, to be honest. I always am like, it's the way that I think it doesn't go that it goes. Because I'm always, I always put it on wrong. But I think it's this way, but I don't really know. And to be honest, I can't even be bothered to look it up right now. So I have them on. <laughs> um, I think I don't know if these are different to the other pixie ones that I have, but they're the ones I had before were also called Nutrify, Nutrify, um, nourishing eye patches. But this I don't remember them in pink on top. I think they were blue. But anyway, I don't know if it's just new packaging or if it's completely different I can't really tell but um anyway they're so good like my under eyes I feel like I've aged so much like particularly under my eyes lately I think it's stress <laughs> that's so bad but like I honestly genuinely think it is not that like my life is so stressful like but like well at the moment I have a lot going on do you know what I mean so it is it's stressful for me but I hate to say that and like go on and on because I know that like <laughs> I'm so lucky like I have all the important things but still it doesn't mean that you don't feel stressed so yeah it's definitely in that I've really aged her in the eyes I mean it's probably the fact I've got a bit older as well I'm really contemplating getting a bit of Botox or in the eyes and also my forehead could do with it too but it's not a necessity but I can definitely see myself aging you know that kind of way I don't know what it is maybe it's because I've lost a bit of weight over the last year or two I don't know when I started but you can definitely see it like obviously my eyes are covered now but like you know what I mean the crow's feeder crow's feeding when I smile and my forehead isn't the worst but there is like one line that's still kind of there even when I'm not raising my eyebrows it's mostly when I wear makeup it goes into it to be honest but yeah it's not the worst it's just the wedding coming up I want to look my best I don't want to look like an old hag <laughs> I probably will before the wedding but I don't know if I should try it out now and then but then I'll probably need it done again before I don't really know how it works I need to look into it if anyone has any recommendations let me know I know a few um people who've got it anyway so I'll obviously ask for advice first but anyway I'm just gonna give my hair a quick long curl and then use this at the top to give it a bit of volume and then I'll get on to doing just a little bit of natural makeup so I can chat to you while I'm doing that but um yeah we may as well start talking about the coil I actually kind of wanted to vlog getting out and then it just didn't really happen oh my god it's so nice out it's so nice and sunny um yeah I d it just didn't really happen that way like I just ended up kind of getting oh I've been thinking about it for so long now so long like I had it in for four years I got it in in 2018 and I pretty much it, it only lasts five years anyway the one I have with the Kylina the Kylina coil which is like the um one with I think it's like less hormones the Morena has more hormones and then there's a copper that has like no hormones at all but it's copper and it can make your periods 
heavier and stuff like that. Um, so there's like good and bad things to both. I went into the doctor wanting the copper coil because I like was just off the pill and I really wasn't enjoying the side effects or whatever. Oh my god, my hair's so matted. What the hell? I wasn't enjoying how the pill was making me feel. Um, I was on so many different ones. I tried like all of them. I tried a mini pill and everything. And I think that one was kind of okay. I think I was on that just for like a few weeks before I got the coil. Um, but I forgot to take it once. And I had to get the morning after the pill. So I was like, it's a no for me. So I'm too forgetful. But, um, yeah, that was kind of the situation. Like I, yeah, I went in talking, like to talk to the doctor about it before, and he was like, to be honest, I would go for like Kylina because it shouldn't affect your mood. Even though that was like the main thing that I was worried about, really. But he was like, your periods will be like really light and barely exist, which is true. They did. I feel like they lingered though, like. I've only had one real period since I got it out, but it was definitely like way heavier. I had to wear tampons, like which I literally barely needed them. I barely wore them. Um with the coil, but I it was much heavier, but it only lasted like it was like one day, like real period, and then it was like basically gone. It was like a day or two after that it might have lingered and then it was completely gone. Whereas the coil it was like spread out like I could literally have it for a week but it was like nothing do you know what I mean it would just still be there though when I wiped it <laughs> it didn't like go on anything though you know what I mean it was, it was grand it was so so light but I still had and um, probably worse than ever before like before my period I had like really bad like moods and really 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 bad pains like my period before I was quite lucky it wasn't bad it wasn't like particularly heavy and um, it was like I never had bad pains like I could live if I didn't I didn't need painkillers to get me worse my pains with the coil were literally like unbearable I couldn't couldn't like couldn't deal with them they were so bad they were like contractions they'd like come and go they'd like last for a couple of seconds I'd literally like breathe through them and then they'd be gone I'd like wait for it to pass and like nerven on its own wouldn't even make a dent in them I'd have to take paracetamol as well and then they'd start to ease but I'd still know they were there they'd just become bearable with it so they were really really bad and to be honest when I first got it in I had those really bad pains even getting it in was very sore it was quick but very sore um, and getting it, in, it was pretty much the same it wasn't sore like after really well it was okay but this is what happened so when I was getting my coil removed I went in because <laughs> I'm so for I need to like I need to just tell you this part first and then I'll start talking because otherwise I get so jumbled up. But yeah, so I went in, I booked in obviously, and then I went in and the doctor was like, why do you want to get it out and stuff? And I was just like, well, I feel like it's giving me mood swings. I don't know if it's just me or if it's the coil, but I feel like I'll always just blame it on the coil. So I'd rather just get it out and figure out if it's me or whatever. And then I can try something else in a while if I want. But Oh, I'd kind of made my decision that I didn't really want anything at the moment. I just want to like get back to being normal and not have loads of hormones in me and stuff. So yeah, but the doctor's gonna be kind of pushy sometimes. So I was just kind of like, yeah, 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 like oh, I'll get it out, I'll be careful. I use condoms and then I'll be I'll, you know, think about something else. Um so yeah, then he literally booked me in for another coil for the Morena one. He, I also told him about my cramps being really bad around my period. So he was like, oh, um, well then I would recommend like the Morena because then you might get completely no period because you were still getting a bit of a period with the Kylina one. You might not get one at all with the Morena, but it took me months for maybe a year for mine to get lighter. On the Kylie, I'm like, I'm not going through that. So I'm not going through the start of it is the worst part, it's the most rocky because your like body's getting used to it and everything. So I was like, I'm not going through that. I'm not like well, I was just like, Yeah, 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 to him because <laughs> I wasn't really bothered to get into it, but yeah, to be honest, my main thing was like my mood swings anyway, like I can get over the pains. But he did also say, like, yeah, but if the mood swings are like a range or period mostly, which I get what he was saying, but also like that's not really how it works, babe. Like, 
yeah, I just, I just, yeah, I don't know. I was just like, no, no thanks. So I didn't go back and get my Lorena put in. He gave me a prescription and everything. And I was just like, no, I don't think so. Because of that reason, I just was like, no, I just want to not have anything. I'm not worried. So I don't really know what I'm doing now, to be honest. I'm just, I'm just here. I'm just being careful. But, um, I also have been tracking as well for ages and I see it might be different now well my period actually came perfectly on time after after I got my coil out because it was due like literally two days after I got my coil out and then it still came which was perfect but it was like my old period it wasn't like my usual light one on the coil which is probably a good sign because I feel like I still had a cycle some people do I think some people don't with the hormonal um coils but I was lucky I must have still had mine I think because I think I'm I don't know anyway my last period seemed normal but that will we'll see on the next one I'm meant to get my next period right in the middle of my hen abroad where I have to wear white the whole weekend because it's my hen so it's not ideal especially when I don't even know how heavy my period is anymore because I'm used to having like none so it literally couldn't come in a worse bloody time but anyhow what can you do? Who knows? Maybe the plane will delay it or something. Um. Anyway, yeah. So, okay, getting the point out. We had that discussion, and yeah, he recommended that. Also, because contraception is free up to twenty seven, and because I'm turning twenty seven on the sixteenth of April, he was literally like, "You need to come in ASAP, or you will end up paying another three hundred and thirty euro for the coil." So, I was kind of like, but I also, yeah. Right now, I've decided anyway. I'm not getting it back in. I don't really know 100% what I'm doing. Kind of tracking, just being careful. But I feel like I need to get something a bit more correct. Like I need to get the like, um, loads of people recommended the like fertility, the like sticks, you can check if you're like ovulating or whatever. And then you'll know to be like extra careful around that time and stuff. And then there's also natural cycles, which I always see people talk about um, where it, like you take your temperature every morning and I think I don't know what else you check it might be your like discharge or something and then you'll know if you're ovulating so you'll obviously yeah be careful around that or whatever but anyway um yeah I don't really know what I'm doing <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing but I just want to say to me so yeah I felt great for a week after so you're like this is great I'm literally back to myself and then the last like week I've been stressed again so now I don't know if it's just down to stress like in my job or whatever or if it was well so I'm not too sure anyway I better get going with my makeup because uh, otherwise I'll be here all day I'm not doing much anyway I'm just doing a little natural amount it's actually my mom's birthday today so we're just gonna have like a chill day like me and Connor are gonna go bring the dogs for a walk see his family and stuff and then see mine and then we're going for dinner and um, for mom's birthday tonight so I'm looking forward to that so yeah just doing a bit of natural daytime makeup I am gonna record a sheen haul after this as well so I may as well have a couple of new bits to try out actually so I'll show you them as we go my makeup bag is actually downstairs but I like, literally don't need to go down for it because I have so many bits up here I know so I'm just gonna be probably rooting around but it's good because I'll use different products so I'll use my CC Me and Foundation now I already have this in my makeup bag but I have a couple of shades in it so <laughs> I'll just be using one of them oh I don't have my beauty blender I don't really like doing makeup with a brush but I can't be bothered to go down and get it so Oh, I actually really like this colour. I hope it's not too dark for me though. But yeah, this foundation is so good. So nice and it doesn't feel like uncomfortable and really heavy. It's really, really nice. I'm obsessed. So yeah, what else do I need to fill you in on? Like, my coil is out. It annoyed me for four years. <laughs> it's so handy because you don't have to worry about stuff but also you're like yeah I don't know I was a bit power about it for a while but anyway it was good it served its purpose 
Some people love it, some people hate it. There's good and bad things about like everything, unfortunately, not everything is perfect. But yeah, it's just great because you don't have to worry at all. It's just it's just there. So if you've got experiences on the coil, the pill, any contraception, please comment below because I need well, I need advice on what I should do and also like I'd love to hear <laughs> I'd love to hear people's stories about this well I find it fascinating and also makes me feel better sometimes as well that I'm not the only one that struggled or whatever I might have to use my hands for my concealer anyway this is a new Bellamy Anta one's called Dreamy Creamy Concealer and it looks so good quite a nice colour, it's not too light sometimes they're a bit too light, but you know back in the day when you used to wear ones that were like white, that used to kill me it is nice, it is creamy, they weren't lying but yeah the reason actually that I even thought about not having any birth control was because I was listening to um, AOK Nutrition's podcast, it's so good so informed of she like specializes in I don't know exactly how like she phrases it but like basically like women's like hormones and contraception and all of that so she knows everything and she'll like work with people who've like lost their periods due to like I don't know under eating and stuff like that or um whatever and like help them get it back and yeah she'll like help people to like get proud or whatever if they are struggling to like stuff like that she just all that type of stuff she looks after but yeah she also helps a lot and she knows a lot about like mood swings during your period like pre-menstrual symptoms I guess is what you call it is it and um, all of that like because someone messaged me and said that they went to work and they were on the coil and like they thought it was the coil but it actually was just that her I don't know if it's something to do with your like progesterone or whatever but she like tells you how to like keep your body like less stressed or whatever like apparently stress will really trigger it so like you'll have way worse periods and stuff like that if your body is under a lot of stress and like loads like I can't even explain it. I actually listened to it ages ago now like well over a year as well so I don't know if we get anything wrong but like all of that type of thing she is like the queen of so she's so good i loved her podcast and she was basically saying like people don't even know that you can only get pregnant it's like seven days of the year no seven days of the month like the rest of the month you are not ovulating so you can't even get pregnant but so yeah like if you're careful that those days you're fine i guess it still frightens me though because i'm like am i though i don't know um but that's what she says she's a queen and she doesn't have any kids either so <laughs> she must be right oh, it's just so busy it's all over the place I just got to do me using the same brush for my whole face today it's so stunning I just can't it's literally summer and yesterday was so miserable I just can't the weather is so up and down lately I literally don't know how it's actually like that it's ridiculous I to find a blush there we go it was a blush palette that I didn't even know I had I have some big news if I'm honest about our house so at the moment we are planning on putting it up for sale in like a week or two we actually have applied for a mortgage that isn't approved yet so I don't really know why I'm talking about this because it might not even happen but also we feel like we kind of need to get moving now like this could change because you don't know what will happen but I just feel like you always hear like the end when people are like oh my god new house and then you don't see like the months and weeks before and the stress that it causes like trying to save like i know like friends of mine are like saving for mortgages or like they've, they're waiting for like their house to be built like loads of stuff but 
you just yeah like that part's kept quiet most of the time like maybe not with like your friends but like I'm talking about like on the internet like you don't see like the months before where they're like saving and the stress that it causes and stuff and for us it's a bit different because we already have a house to sell but basically because of that we like it's harder like we'd be less favorable because there could be other like first time buyers that are ready to move in straight away and have the money straight away whereas we would have to sell our house to have the money to buy the next house so we're just gonna put it up for sale we're thinking and maybe we'll be lucky and we'll find out straight away like there was houses out there and stuff but you just don't know like what will be out there when we're when we've sold our house so we just don't know how long our house will take to sell it could take ages no one could want it or it could sell tomorrow and then we're like fuck what do we do so we're lucky that we can move in with one of our parents if we need to so that's kind of our plan at the moment like it could change you just don't know like things at the moment especially with finances are so up in the air all the time i just can't so yeah that's that where we had our estate agent come over and stuff and do evaluation and he like recommended to doing a few little things like just like fixing the garden stuff because like this time of the year hasn't really been done since last summer now so Con's gonna do that now when he's off for Easter <laughs> it's Easter halls and um, this week and next and stuff and like a bit of painting and stuff that needs to be done and then I'm gonna like sort through like all my makeup and clothes and everything so keep an eye on my depop but yeah we're gonna clear out and get stuff organized and then most likely sell it but it could take months even though like we've no clue so yeah but our mortgage application is in but i don't know i'm not that confident about it um mostly because of me because i started a new job in january so they usually want you to be permanent and off probation which i'm not yet so we'll probably get approval in principle and they'll say that we can draw down when i'm off probation and possibly when I'm permanent I don't really know for sure it kind of depends I think or sometimes they'll give me some of the mortgage which might be okay so I don't really know if I'm honest it's mostly because of that that we're up in the air about it because um yeah <laughs> we obviously need like a mortgage for both of us but anyway hopefully it'll be all good and it'll be easier than i'm expecting but it's the problem you just don't know so yeah that's why i'm quite stressed at the moment because i don't really know where we're living where we're gonna be living what we're gonna do i just don't know <laughs> and i'm also a bit stressed because i'm not permanent yet in my job and i obviously need that so i'm a little bit stressed about that plus i'm in a new job that's very busy and stuff so yeah that's why I've been quiet here as well because I just have a lot on and obviously the wedding is in July so I'm still doing a lot of planning for that but yeah it's all good stuff and it's all exciting stuff it's just it's just a bit scary when you're at this stage because none of it's like come together yet you know that kind of way so yeah <laughs> that's kind of it I still feel like I'm leaving stuff out of the coil scenario. I don't think I told you. Oh, I didn't tell you about getting it out. Then to getting it out took two minutes. Sorry, I'm so bad. I'm so forgetful. I'm always like jumping from one thing to another. I'm so bad. I'm so sorry. It's just the way my brain is. It's absolutely all over the place. But yeah, um, I had to lie on the bed. <laughs> and then just all really be there when he came back in. But my bottom half off and I was just like... <laughs> And then they put in this like thing that I think it's the same as the thing that when you get a smear test you get. It's just like a yoke that goes up but I don't really know. But then they have like a thing that opens your cervix I think. I don't know what it looks like. I didn't see any of it but opens it and then he just pulls it out and that was it. So it was literally while he pulled it that like two seconds was like a pain. Like shooting pain but 
then it was gone it didn't like linger around or anything and then it was fine like I, I went to the bathroom did away and stuff then like once or twice and it was fine and then when it got to that evening it started to really really sting when I did a wee but then by the next day it was absolutely fine and I was delighted that I was over it so because I feel like I was dreading that for so long because I hated getting it in so much but yeah getting it in was oh, I remember being like shocked by the pain of it I was literally in shock <laughs> in shock it was like a shooting pain it was like a big contraction I was like I don't want to have kids I don't want to ever be in labour <laughs> okay so I'm just gonna do a bit of lip gloss now and that's me done my camera's flashing red again it obviously didn't do much me charging it this is Jeffree Star and I love it it's so cute it's like such a nice light little baby pink so yeah that's me ready to go for gorge day i'm so excited that the weather's nice i'm so happy yes it was such a miserable day and um, so yeah i hope you enjoyed hope i answered any of the coil type of questions there um you know a few people reached out and i also had a few stories as well that i got in um so i'll save them to a highlight on my instagram but yeah i better go because my camera's panicking me by flashing so thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed and i will see you in the next one bye Thank you.